human beings of the internet. I'm Lauren Elizabeth, and I did a thing. I did a thing, and it's something I haven't done in so long, but I said that I would do it, and you guys have been requesting it, so I did it. I jumped off. Just kidding. I filmed a makeup video. I wanted to film a go-to makeup video, because I don't really have an everyday makeup routine, since every day is so different for me. I'm someone who only wears makeup if I have to, which is why I put so much on. So it's not really like I'm saying you need to wear this kind of makeup every day. It's just like if I have to be on camera, or if I have like an important meeting, or if I'm going out, like this is how I do my makeup. Basically medium to full coverage foundation. I don't wear a lot of eye makeup because I suck at doing eye makeup. Which leads me to the point of, no I'm not a makeup artist. Guys, when I go on red carpets and stuff, like I have a professional do my makeup. I cannot do that. This is just what I'm capable of doing and I'm a normal, Stella, what are you doing? And I'm a normal person and this is how I figured out to do my makeup. So if you're looking for like a makeup artist, Stop! Don't come here! I'm not one. I'm a normal, average, capable human. So these are my favorite makeup products. This is how I usually put them together. It's always switching around, so that's why you should always keep up with my favorites videos, because that's when I talk about makeup and beauty products that I really like. And I think the most important part that I don't show in this video is my skincare routine, because thanks to having, like, really really good skin lately this makeup looks so much better and it's so much easier to absorb in my skin so if you guys want a skincare routine video make sure to give this video a thumbs up so i know that you want to see it or even like a morning video or a nighttime routine video but this is basically how i do my makeup when i'm like getting ready it's not every day but when it happens this is how it happens let's put on makeup ooh la la hey this is my face oh hate it whatever got a deal Using a beauty blender, I apply my foundation on a clean and moisturized face. I also use primer to protect my skin from makeup because makeup's not the best thing for your skin. And I love this foundation because you can go from a medium to full coverage and using the beauty blender, I really get it in my skin and it lasts all day long and I don't even feel like I'm wearing makeup. Once I've blended my foundation, I move on to concealer. I love this Tarte concealer because it's thick and it's creamy and it just literally gets rid of any under eye circles. And I use my ring finger to blend all under my eye and I go a little lower and kind of use any leftover concealer on other parts of my face that I might need concealing. Then I go back with my beauty blender and make sure it's really set in my skin so that there's no creases. Then I use a second concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Under Eye Concealer, and this one really just brings the whole look together. It's like a magical concealer. I love it, and honestly, I just saw other beauty gurus using it and doing this, and I copied them, and I'm not as good, but I'm highlighting or doing something and just putting more concealer on my face to get full coverage, basically. And then I use a beauty blender to magically make it seep into my skin, and it disappears, but it also covers things, and it's honestly amazing and the most fun part of this entire process. Okay, I lied. This is the most fun and most magical part of putting on my makeup, and sometimes I do get carried away, but it was inspired by the whole baking thing. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's where you basically put a crap ton of translucent powder on your face and you let it bake and then you're flawless or something, but basically what I just do is I put a lot of translucent powder um, where I put all the concealer to basically set it and make sure it lasts all day and it just gives it this amazing finish especially for on camera that just looks flawless and that makes your texture of your face feel amazing and smooth and soft and I feel like it really just keeps my makeup on all day long and looks perfect. I highly recommend the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it doesn't photograph white. It really blends into your skin and you can't even see it when it's photographed so you can get away with putting a lot of it on like I'm doing and you won't even notice it's on your face. I like to lightly set anywhere where I'm probably not going to put bronzer or anything just so that the foundation lasts all day as well and just to make sure everything's you know in place before I put on bronzer or anything else. Speak of the devil, it's the bronzer. I like using a fan brush with this bronzer because this is more of a glowy warm bronzer. If I do have a spray tan, I'll go in with a matte contour first and then go back in with NARS to warm it up. But since I haven't gotten a spray tan in a while, I'm just warming up my face with a fan brush and some bronzer. For blush, I've been loving the NARS blush sex appeal. It looks different when it, whether I'm pale or do have a spray tan, but either way, it looks really, really good. So I recommend it for any skin tone pretty much. Then I go in with my holy grail highlighter, Becca in Opal, and I go on my cheekbones. I put some excess on my nose and on my upper lip, and I just put the excess wherever I want it to be highlighted because it honestly barely shows up once I put it on my cheekbones. But I like to be glowy. I like to look like a disco ball.
For eyeshadow, I'm really boring and I just take a crease brush and I put the color Naked by Urban Decay all over my eyelid. Yep, that's it. That's what I do. You can easily use other colors from the Naked Basics palette or the Naked palette and highlight or put more crease color in, darken it up, whatever, but I find that this is a really great natural look for me and with the foundation and concealer that I kind of dragged up onto my eye, it works as a primer and a base, so all I really need to do is go in and blend this. I think this is the perfect color for my skin tone to make me look not dead and alive, and so this is what it looks like with just Naked all over. Next is another magical product. Honestly, if you don't have this, it will change your life forever. And it is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. It was really hard for me to do this in the camera, so I kind of filled my eyebrows in a little too dark and just had to kind of do it off camera. But I usually do a straight line underneath and a straight line up. But it's just so sloppy because I could not see what I was doing in this video. So, long time no filming of makeup tutorial, eh? No? Okay. Since I did make my eyebrows a little too dark, I went in with my trusty crease color, which is Saddle by MAC. I've been using this for literally five years now, and it's the only color that I use with Naked to darken it up or to make my eyes pop a little more, especially when I know I'm going to be on camera. I never used to curl my lashes, and now it's essential because it seriously makes such a difference. It opens your eyes up so much. And then I use Roller Lash by Benefit. I also couldn't see what I was doing in the camera, so this is kind of the after effect of it all. But this is my favorite mascara. I've been using it for a while now. And then I like to exfoliate my lips with a sugar scrub, and then it makes them really, really red. So I go back over it with the excess on my beauty blender to kind of even it out before I put my favorite lipstick on, which is Buxom in Sydney. So this is how I do my makeup to look like I. I'm naturally glowing and sparkling and have amazing skin, but in reality, yes, there's a lot of things on my face. But I hope you guys liked it, and let me know what you want to see next in the comments. Bye!